everyone today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me running late video so if I get up late this is what I would normally do for school so I'm gonna be showing you three hair fixes because these barely are even hairstyles because they are so simple a really really simple makeup look and two outfit ideas that are really easy also gonna be showing you guys and sharing some tips on how to get ready faster so I hope you guys enjoy this video give it this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing get ready with me's or routines so let's just go ahead and get started So after my alarm goes off about the second or third time, and I am just having a struggle here, my hair is not getting out of my face, I actually realize what time it is and I have to zoom out of my room and go straight into the bathroom so that I can brush my teeth so that I can feel a lot more refreshed and so that I can get ready for my morning and I cannot go leaving my house without brushing my teeth it's just something that makes me feel really good and refreshed so I like doing that and having a nice smelling breath now moving on to makeup if you don't have to wear makeup don't wear makeup but if you feel confident wearing makeup go ahead and wear makeup so I'm gonna be showing you guys a really simple makeup look first I'm just taking all of the dirt and oils off my face with a makeup wipe and then I'm applying moisturizer all over my face Next, I'm taking my NYX Wonder Pencil and just applying this underneath my eyes to brighten them up and cover up my dark circles. And then for some extra coverage, I'm taking my NYX Paint Pot Concealer and just applying that underneath my eyes where my dark circles are because they are super bad especially when I did not get enough sleep the night before. Next I'm taking a little brush and applying my Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder underneath my eyes and I am using natural lighting so if you see the lighting change a little bit it's because the sun was going up and down throughout this video. Next I'm taking my Dream Bouncy blush by Maybelline and this one is in fresh pink and I really like this because it is super easy to blend and it looks really natural and then I'm just applying my favorite mascara which is the Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline. And then I'm just taking this nude color from Revlon's Lip Butter. This one is in Creamsicle and just applying that to my lips. Now moving on to the hairstyles. The first one is super simple, but first I'm going to be taking some dry shampoo so that I can get all the grease and oils out of my hair because I did not have time to get in the shower in the morning. So I'm just running that all through my hair and then I'm just going to take a brush and comb that through. Once I have all the dry shampoo distributed through my hair, I'm going to take a hair tie, flip my head over, and gather all of my hair on the top of my head, and just start to brush it out and make sure it's all nice and smooth. And if you like a messy ponytail look, then you don't have to do the slicked back look, but in my, for my opinion and my style, I like a more slicked back ponytail. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to secure it with a hair tie. to make it a little bit more put together I'm just adding this really cute headband now moving on to hairstyle number two I'm just gonna be gathering my hair all over onto one side and then I'm separating my hair into three equal sections then I'm just going to start braiding it a simple three strand braid all the way down and then secure it with a clear elastic at the bottom So if I had time, 
the bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home. Then once my braid is secured, I just like to go back and pull on it. And then I also like to tug on the back and just put my fingers through it and rust it up a little bit so it looks more messy and effortless, which is really cute. Now moving on to hairstyle three, I'm just going to be putting my hair up into a high-low pony. It's sort of in the middle. And then I'm just going to be taking the ponytail and twisting it. And then once I twisted it and I can't twist it anymore, I'm just going to wrap it around the ponytail ring or the hair tie and just wrap it around itself until I get to the end and it looks like a donut and then I'm going to take a hair tie and secure it and then also use some bobby pins to secure that in place and add a headband to make it look cute. Next we're going to be moving on to the outfits. The first one is just these dark wash Hollister jeans, a white tank top and this beige cardigan from Forever 21. The second one is with the same um, Pants, I couldn't think of the word, and I'm just wearing this really pretty purpley cardigan slash sweater from American Eagle. And, and then to make myself look a little bit more put together, I like to wear some jewelry. And then I run down my stairs, go right into my kitchen, and grab a cereal bar. Well, it's not really a cereal bar. It's an oats and honey crunchy bar, so it's sort of like a granola bar. But I like to have it in the morning, and I also like to try and have a glass of orange juice so that I can have some vitamins. And then I just take the granola bar and put it in my backpack. And then I pick out some shoes. This isn't very hard because I wear my Toms basically every day. They're super easy to pair with every outfit. And then I just go out my door, and hopefully I don't miss my bus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave comments down below on any requests you have. Subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you want me to keep doing more routines or get ready with me. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Abby Marie. She just started her YouTube channel and it would mean a lot to me and her if you guys go subscribe to her channel. Check her out. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!